What's up, everybody? This is Big Sarge back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be explaining to you the differences between the 35 Tango and the 25 Bravo MOS. In case you are lost and confused and don't know which one of these you want to pick as your profession in the United States Army. So let's get into it. If you've been looking into tech related jobs in the U.S. Army, then there's a good chance you've come across two particularly intriguing MOS options. You got the 35 Tango MOS, that is the Military Intelligence Systems Maintainer Integrator, and the 25 Bravo MOS, which is the Information Technology Specialist, and that was my MOS when I was in the military. Now on the surface, they might sound pretty similar because both involve working with computers, both touch on networking, and both sound like they land you a decent job when you get out of the Army. But make no mistake, these two MOSs may overlap a little, but they're very different in terms of mission clearance systems and long-term career opportunities. So if you're wondering which one is better for you, or you're just curious what separates the two, let me go ahead and break it all down for you. So let's go. All right, so let's define each MOS, and we're going to start with 35 Tango. So once again, this is the Military Intelligence Systems Maintainer Integrator. So basically, you're the tech backbone for the Army's high-stakes intelligence missions. And you're going to be working with intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance systems, secure communications, specialized computer networks, sensors, ground stations, and satellite links. So basically, you're going to maintain and integrate systems that support operations like drone feeds, intelligence analysis, and classified communications. So you're supporting military intelligence units, and you're not just doing general IT support. Now, when it comes to the 25 Bravo MOS, this is the information technology specialist. And basically, you're the Army's version of an IT generalist or help desk technician with hands-on responsibility over network infrastructure, user account management, computer repair, and software and system installation. And you might be setting up a local area network for a battalion one day and troubleshooting a printer or patching servers the next. All right, so let's talk about intelligence versus general IT support. So this is one of the biggest differences between 35 Tango and 25 Bravo. When it comes to 35 Tango, they are focused on military intelligence systems. So if you go 35 Tango, you're supporting intelligence gathering missions. That means working with sensitive data, top secret communications, and tactical decision support systems. You're not just fixing a broken keyboard. You're maintaining the systems that help find enemy targets, monitor drone feeds, or support signal intelligence. Your work directly impacts mission critical decisions and often supports high level commanders and intelligence analysts. Now, when it comes to 25 Bravo, you are focused on general army IT operations and you are essentially the go-to person for general IT tasks. So think of setting up user accounts, managing army email systems, running updates and patches and installing and maintaining servers and workstations. Now you might work with the S6, which is the communication section. You might find yourself in a brigade or a division doing similar tasks, but you're more likely to deal with routine IT stuff, not some secret squirrel intelligence operations. Now let's talk about each one's skill sets. So here we're going to dive a little deeper into the kind of systems that you will be touching. As a 35 Tango, you're going to be working with secure ground stations, satellite terminals, signal intelligence equipment, ISR support nodes, remote sensors, and classified communication hardware. And you'll often operate in tactical environments, meaning you might be working on a mobile system in a field setting or supporting forward deployed MI units. And you'll need to understand complex electronics, secure data handling, and mission-specific hardware and software. When it comes to the 25 Bravos, you're going to be working with Active Directory, Windows and Linux servers, routers and switches, printers and desktops, email servers, and firewalls and antivirus software. So this is more like what you'd expect from a civilian IT job, except you're wearing a military uniform. All right, next, let's talk about security clearance requirements. So this is a big deal, especially if you want to work in the federal government or if contractors after you leave the Army. 
When it comes to 35 Tango, this requires a top secret SCI clearance. So because you're dealing with highly classified systems, you're going to undergo a full background investigation. That means you can't have any major legal issues, no financial red flags, no drug use, especially any recent drug use. And you have to have a high level of trustworthiness. Having a TS SCI clearance just puts you in a very elite group and makes you highly attractive to federal agencies and private defense contractors alike. Now, when it comes to 25 Bravos, this usually requires a secret clearance. Now, some 25 Bravos, they may work in environments that require a higher clearance, but most positions only need a secret clearance. And that still involves a background check, but it's not as intense. And if you're in a secure communications unit or you work on classified networks like Zipper, then your clearance level might be bumped up. All right, next, let's talk about the training each MOS gets. So when it comes to 35 Tangos, you're going to attend AIT at Fort Huachuca, which is also home to most of the Army's intelligence training. Now, their AIT is long. We're talking like 40 plus weeks long, depending on the training pipeline. And it dives deep into advanced electronics, troubleshooting ISR systems, data security, and network integration architecture. So basically, you're going to be dealing with high-end gear, specialized software, and tactical IT systems. Now, when it comes to the 25 Bravos, you're going to do AIT at Fort Gordon, and this is going to last you about 20 weeks. And while you're there, you're going to learn about Windows and Linux systems, network administration, cybersecurity fundamentals, troubleshooting and support skills, and Army-specific IT environments. Now, while this MOS is more general purpose, it's a solid technical foundation that you can build on with certifications and hands-on experience. All right, so next let's talk about some career opportunities after the Army. So this is where both MOSs really shine, but in slightly different ways. So when it comes to the 35 Tango MOS, this is great for government and defense contractors. And with your TS SCI clearance and Intel background, you can slide into roles like a system engineer, a defense contractor, a signal intelligence or ISR field technician, secure communication analyst, or a satellite systems technician. And these jobs often pay anywhere between 80 to 120,000 plus, depending on your experience and certifications. So if you're aiming for federal service, like working for the NSA, the CIA or DHS or something like that, then this MOS is your golden ticket. When it comes to the 25 Bravo MOS, this is great for private sector IT and cybersecurity jobs. And with experience in help desk networking and general IT, you're going to be setting yourself up for roles like desktop support technician, network administrator, systems administrator, cybersecurity analyst, or IT support specialist. And with the right certifications like CompTIA A+, Network+, Plus, Security+, Plus, et cetera, you can find work pretty much anywhere from tech companies, the schools, the hospitals, and small businesses, all all of them need people with these skills. Now, speaking of certifications, here's some of the certs that you can possibly earn. So when it comes to 35 Tango, you can possibly earn your Security Plus, your CCNA, your CISSP, your Linux Plus, or your Certified Ethical Hacker. Now, most of these are cybersecurity and network focused and having a TS clearance. This can make you even more valuable. When it comes to 25 Bravos, you can get your A+, your Network+, Plus, your Security+, Plus, some Microsoft certifications, and some other Cisco certifications. And plus, you're going to have opportunities to get all of these certifications funded by the Army. So take advantage of that. All right, so let's touch on lifestyle and work environments. So when it comes to 35 Tangos, this tends to be in smaller, tight-knit military intelligence units. You might be forward deployed or attached to combat brigades. You're going to spend time in the field supporting intelligence collection. You're going to find yourself working in secure facilities like a skiff. And you're going to be dealing with longer hours during missions, but you're also going to have a lot of autonomy. When it comes to 25 Bravos, you're usually a part of a larger support team like an S6 shop. You can work in a battalion level, brigade or division level staff. Your hours are more structured. So think of standard office hours with the occasional 24 hour shift. And you're more than likely going to be dealing with a lot of frustrated users, printers and constant help desk tickets. So that leads us to the magical question, which one is better? And honestly, it depends on what you are looking for. So here's the deal. Choose 35 Tango if you want to work with advanced, high-stakes intelligence systems, you're aiming for a career in federal government or contracting, 
They like electronics, satellite systems, and secure communications. They're comfortable with high clearance environments, and you do not mind long training and high responsibilities. Choose the 25 Bravo MOS. If you want a more generalized IT role with civilian crossover, you prefer a stable day-to-day office style job with occasional field time, you want to get certifications and transition into help desk cybersecurity or network administration roles, and you like troubleshooting and user support and infrastructure work. All right, so let me go ahead and wrap all this up. So what's the real difference between 35 Tango and 25 Bravo? Well, they both work in the tech space, they both offer valuable skills, and they both support the Army's mission. But where 25 Bravo is your go-to IT specialist, 35 Tango is more of a technical intelligence systems engineer. One keeps the network alive, and the other keeps the intel flowing. Now, either MOS can be a solid choice depending upon your career goals, interests, and tolerance for classified high-pressure environments. But the key to all of this is knowing what you want out of your military experience, then picking the path that gets you there.